Hi everyone, it's Rosemary here with 505 Crafts and I wanted to share with you guys a package I received with an open warm heart. I'm so excited. I won a drawing that Barb Pollitt, who is also known as Tilly, um, she did a little giveaway. She got something in the mail from someone else and she drew my name on her birthday. Happy birthday, Barb! or slash also known as Tilly. Um, thank you. So I did receive that. I'm super excited. Her birthday was on the 19th. So hop on over to her um, YouTube name is Barb Pollitt. P-O-L-L-I-T-T. -T. Um, and she had a question on, I was watching her video because she got this awesome like mini album and I thought it was so cool. And, and then all of a sudden she says, I think I'm going to be, I was gifted. I want to gift to you. And... I thought it was like some more information. I thought, well, getting information is great. And at the end, she said, she asked us a question and we responded. And so the question was, how do you handle watching all the videos you're sub to or YouTubers that you're sub to? And I said, oh my goodness, I watch everything and fast forward. I'm just kidding. Actually, I watch whatever is intriguing me at that time. I look at my subscriptions, then I look up some certain things, and if I see something that my friends have, or um, I'm into a lot of min uh, mini albums, and I like getting lots of ideas, and I'll share with you guys some projects that I have done. Um, but the way I do it is I kind of look, and I'm like, oh, that's something new. I like looking at what's new when people say, hey, I got a haul. I just skim through and I'm like, okay, that's how I get to know what's new at Hobby Lobby, Joann's and Michael's. And that's who I have here in Albuquerque. So that kind of helps me kind of get an idea of what there is to come. And that makes me get excited. And then um, I like to watch a lot of tutorial videos and swaps and just to see the new things like these pocket letters. Oh my God. They're everywhere, and I'm going to do a swap with Amy Love Watson, so that's going to be cool. Um, so anyways, let's get down to the yumminess. Thank you. Look how beautifully it's wrapped, and she is such a sweetheart. I was like, wow, that's awesome. I won. I was number two. I won. And I love this ribbon that it's wrapped in. It's like this, um, almost like a, uh, it feels like that ribbon that you could get with your scissors and do this too but it's like a crinkle ribbon I don't know but it has this really pretty um little scallop on it and I thought it was awesome so I definitely want to save that and I'm going to pull this through and see what she sent me here so thanks for watching enjoy the goodies goodie bag Barb aka Tilly oh look at how cute that is that is such a great idea, Tilly. Thank you. It's so sweet, cute, and exactly to the T. I love it, and I love the fibers you use. That is awesome. I'm learning about cards, so I'm getting into cards. That's awesome. This beautiful green, luscious paper. And so I know that there's some uh, a paper pad in there, and I'm like, whoa, that's awesome. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, it says one little dreamer. Oh, I got some stamps now that I remember. Awesome. The, the photopolymer stamps. They're uh, dated today. Um, it says family this moment right now, Sunday through Wednesday, yesterday, tomorrow. Oh, with, oh, I love this file and everything. I just love these. Thank you. These are awesome. This is also great for Project Life or for make doing your... um. What is it called? Like your planner stuff. This is awesome. Thank you. I love this. Here's the beautiful paper. It's called Little Black Dress. Oh my gosh. It's luscious. Oh my god. I love leopard. I don't care if it goes out of style or not. I'm still going to love it. Beautiful paper pack. And then I got... Oh, look at how pretty this is. I got a Prima. Awesome. Thank you. Ooh, look at these. These clusters of stars in blue. Love it. Ooh, I wanted this one a long time ago and I never got it. Oh, thank you. Ooh, some more yummies. Ooh, I love these bags. Hey, I have some of these. This is awesome. Thank you. I love this. I love these little goodie bags because you get so much little stuff that 
there's just like a few things that you're like, oh, I have to have that. And everything else, either you could pay it forward or keep it. Sorry, my dog's probably going to start barking off his head. Oh, look, some of that Baker's Twine in Blue. Love it. I'll tell you why about that. And then she sent me, oh, and some yellow. Love, love, love it. And these cute angels. Oh, Tilly, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. And these doilies. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So I hope you guys go over and um, go check out Barb Pollitt and tell her I said to tell her happy birthday. That would be awesome. And um, one of these videos, one of these days, I'll have to do a giveaway. And also in regards to Barb Pollitt, I'm going to have to pay something forward. You never know. Um so thank you so much. I'm going to share some projects also um, that I have made. And I just have a different assortment. I'm going to try to get this under 10 minutes. So here we go. So on Inspire, Laugh, Create, I'm in a group. And it's uh, made by me and some friends. And we decided to do a chunky charm. And the chunky charm had to have at least 10 beads and 10 charms. Really inexpensive. Things that you already have or if you wanted to buy some. And this was mine, and my partner loves red. So do I. Isn't it gorgeous? So from one side, it's about family in the summer and vacationing, and then shopping is on the other side. So half and half, that's why the tree is symbolic to me, because it's like a tree is regarding family. You have roots and a family tree. So I made this, and don't make fun of me, because I'm not the best person to make um, bracelets or jewelry, but... At least I tried. Thank you. I did an awesome ATB. I'm very proud of myself. But the problem is, is that I use pot dots that were too big. Look at you can see them right when I turn it. You see, I don't even have to get close. It's ridiculous. But I did use the new graphic 45. And this is the uh, precious memories. Here it is. Awesome. So I had this little cute frame, and this is for my partner, Noelle, and she loved this paper. It, she loved it so much, she was willing to steal my paper to buy it for me at the store. <laughs> oh, man. She's so funny. I love it. And I just popped out of everything on all sides. This is my favorite side. And here. And I used some chunky beads, too make it stand up so I hope my partner really likes that and it was fun doing the ATB it was super super easy I went and I just got um some pieces of chipboard I had I think this is a lot softer so I think I used like some kind of cardboard like a cereal box and I just cut out strips of paper just to put on the edges but I ended up having to make another one because the paper didn't lend itself with the block so this is the reason why I had to make another one so you guys could kind of see and it's all put together just with these little pieces of paper. That's it. It was so easy. You don't have to buy a die or nothing. Just cut out paper. It was so cool. Then I saw this idea on May May Made It. I like teaching mini album classes, so I always get different ideas, try something new, and then go from there. I forgot to put the ribbon on the bottom. And you guys could go check it out. So this one, you open it up, and on the front, it's just basic. You can open it from any direction. This is cool. But um, this, I actually had it as my front. And when you open it, you have all this space to put pictures. And I thought it was so pretty to have in your purse and be like, hey, check out my grandkids. Bam. And people are going to be like, holy smokes. I was going to say a bad word. <laughs> but I thought that was really cool. And I love that idea. Thank you, Maymay. Then I also found this idea. And I had to try things and then I... I only do my classes with graphic 45 paper because it's so beautiful. I have tons of mini albums, but I first try them with um, my other papers that I have oodles of. And this is just a different technique. I saw the side and I said, well, how did they do that? I just have to look at a picture and be like, okay, let me try that. So I found this on Pinterest to tell you how I did it. I can't even tell you, but it was super, super easy. And I said, this is going to be a fun class to do. So this is pretty cool. Awesome. And then I did another one, but I haven't added the paper. And I wanted something a little bit bigger. And this was like the outline to do the 
the graphic 45 with the months. I haven't added the pretty paper in here, but I wanted something that was going to open up. And then also have a pocket here on the side. Is it on the side? Yes. To put the calendars. So this is unfinished, but it has the six pages. So front and back, January, February, March. And that book is actually at the store. And um, it doesn't have the flap, but I showed my students with the flap and they loved it. So they did add it on theirs. So um, my last but not least, guess what? I went to a Stampin' Up! A show. And when I was there, I was like, wow. Their ink pads are awesome, and you can't get me to like anybody's ink pads. I'm diehard Tim Holtz fan, but their ink pads are so luscious and great and easy to store, and they store upside down, and oh, I just I just fell in love with the colors, the different stamping things. I really wanted to get into stamping because it scares me. I smashed this. Um, and it was so easy to blend. You see the ends, how they blended so nicely. I thought... You know what? I want to sell Stumpin' Up. Even though you don't get a great earnings, I love teaching classes and having little workshops. And I said, might as well do something with my time. What the heck? I need more stuff. Like, I need a hole in the head. But if you guys want to check out my website, it's love.stampinup.net. Again, that's www.love.stampinup.net. Up .net. and let me know if you guys have any ideas or want to order anything if you're in Albuquerque and you want to have a workshop let me know thank you guys for watching run over and tell Barb happy birthday thank you Barb